Start your day with small things. Start your day with the small things. Start your day with the small things. Start your day with the very small things. Start your day with small things. Start your day with small things. Is that a man? The recent pandemic has definitely had a hand in changing and in many cases, evolving several of the norms and things we are accustomed to as a society. And even the MTRCB has found itself swimming in new waters that it is now only learning to navigate and tread, but also to be a part of, grow with, and learn from. And our next guest for Reclassified is someone who not only has discovered these new shores, but has thrived and excelled in it. The originator of the character Marites, Justin Luzares. There is research to support that funny people have quite the high IQs as it takes both cognitive and emotional abilities to both process and produce humour. If so, then our guest for today, in my humble opinion, has got to be nothing less than brilliant. As the saying goes, it takes one to know one, that is something I earnestly hope to hear coming from him. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Luzares. Justin, thank you so much for having me, Bogart. And I, I must say that intro, there is indeed some truth to that. Ha! Tal- <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hindi pa ni ano? Hindi pa ni hindi pa humble humble dito. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> No, seriously, I'm so glad to have you. Um, you know, I've always wanted to talk to you for a long, long time. The only problem was that. Um, we're always busy. We're always working when we're together. The first time we collabed was you were away. Yeah, you just sent me yeah, a video. Yeah. Um, but then the next time we saw each other, we had work, so we were busy and we were with other people. Now we're still with other people, but I like this because you know I have you for the next couple of minutes, an hour, just to pick your brain and you know how are you? How are you in life? Where are you right now in your life? I am having fun. Um, it's almost the end of 2022, and this year. It's like the best year for me because oh. I finally, you know, I, I left my day job. Ah, uh, completely. I, doing, yeah, I left my day job last year and then um, I'm doing this full-time content creation. And I must say, when I, when I, when I, when I decided to, you know, take a leap of faith, I Mahain naman ako, kasi oh. may mga receivables pa naman ako. There you go. Oh, sabi ko, okay, go. So, so, and, then, and I mean, it's life changing, you know. That it's state- so, so fun. That's that statement right there. The two statements that you just said, na mahain pa naman ako, okay ka pa, and then it's also life changing. How do you balance between the two? Because you seem like a person who is. Um, you're contented. I well, I know you come from humble beginnings, so contentment is always going to be there. Anything else is going to be an extra. I can definitely relate to that. Mm-hmm. But now that it's life changing for you, when is more something more than enough for you? Will it ever be? Is there something more that you're trying to hit? Siguro for me, magiging too much yung something if. Nasa stress na akong ginagawa siya. Or let's say for example, I'm doing more than I'm, what, I'm, what I feel I'm supposed to be doing. Right. You're not yet there. You're, I'm not yet there. You're having fun. Yeah, because now it's it's basically if I'm if I'm working, okay, it's it's work, it's stressful, but it's still fun. But if I'm not at work, it's it's like wala akong ganap today. <laughs> exactly. I should invite my friends. Wait lang. Wala akong ganap ganon. So it's it's like one or two days in between, so I, I can really rest. That's know? good. I mean, the reason I ask is because you're everywhere right now. You're on TV, well, online, definitely, TV, print. You are everywhere. Not in, even in other countries, you're also there. Yeah. Let's go back to the be- very beginning. Now that you're so far away, come from the provinces. Provinciano, you ka. Bisaya. Yes, Bisaya kayo. Nagtinda ko ang ato. Morag 2010, raming balihin nga rin. Oh my God. So this is something that, you know, people can... The disconnect is also one of the reasons why I've made a living out of the character is because we speak this why, but you know, you know. But there is that the reason why that works. I figure is because there's always been that stigma na pagbisaya dilingid ba yung mus mulito ko How do you feel about that? You know, coming out into this industry, nobody knew you were bisaya because your English is so amazing, and that's is that where you first came out online like that? I think high school. There you go. Kasi sa probinsya kasi namin, sa, sa barangay namin at least, walang signal, 
walang walang cable. Uh. So, I remember back then DVD pa yon, DVD. <laughs> so, 'di ba, isang-isang CD, maraming maraming movies. Uh-uh. So, ganyan ganyan. So, I remember watching watching, you know, um The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Troy, and then I was always fascinated by these um big characters, like powerful characters with 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 villainous accents. We go uh-huh. Parang gusto ko yung ganyan. Uh, so I decided to 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 copy, to, to copy the accent and I was like, wait, parang kaya ko siyang gawin. Uh, so over time, nahasa nang nahasa. I'd like to think that uh, now medyo panipaniwala naman yung British accent ko. It is. No, but nobody where you live was able to even speak close to that way. How do you think you were able to do those things? Watching and watching movies again and again. I remember alas 11 na ng gabi. Yung sabi ni mama, eh, tinatago ni mama yung DVD. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> tinatago ni mama yung DVD. Oh, kasi ayun yung panoorin ko ng panoorin oh. ano, yung mga movie. Wala kang matutunan dyan. Yeah, because sa probinsya, six pa lang, tulog ka na or seven. Right. So, imagine me staying up until 12 or 1 a.m. Oh just watching those movies. Uh-oh. It's stressful for my parents. So, tatago talaga nila. But, but you know, looking back, my, my, I had this conversation with my mom. Sabi niya, na, sa una, uh, oh, see, n- see. Nag, nagbunga na dyan ng imong kaadik sa kanang mga salida ni mo sa una puro ka English English oh. <laughs> di sila ka-relate oh. ako rin maka-relate oh. so, ako rin naka-enjoy so pero ni yun ibalik ni mo oh ma oh gitago-tago pa ni mo DVDs ko ah mm. did, you, did you do that? Mm. <laughs> so but it, it's, it's really it's really it's really you know a, a very fun experience and it's really humbling you know looking back na ganun lang dati tapos ngayon ginto na tayo were you close with your parents? are you close with your parents? yeah I am so with what you do right now with where your direction in your life how big of a part did your parents have play in that one it's big because they were very supportive although mm. at at, uh, at some point when i started you know uh, content creation mm. ano pa lang medyo nahihiya pa ako kasi this is not the life that i grew up with like like hindi naman kami entertainers or what not so so them seeing me looking at the camera with the ring light with the costume on uh. it's something that feels weird i guess for them uh. And then I, I used to I used to lock myself sa kwarto pag 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 mag shoot ako ng ng TikTok. And then because I had this 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 assumption na parang oh my god nagka cringe ako yung parents ko yeah. wait lang. But they don't stop you from doing it. They they did not. And they were very supportive naman. Sabi nila, "Okay, lalo naman ganyan." And they then they just don't understand it. Yeah. Galing. So there in comes that even though they don't understand it, they see that it makes you happy. Yes. You know, and they want Although they hindi sila nakaka-relate. Oo. Uh-uh. Sinusuportahan pa rin nila. You have siblings. You have uh, Yeah, na- I have a kuya. You have a kuya. And then uh, and then a bunso. So there's like three of us. Middle is, child ako. What does the rest of the family think? Your siblings and their extended family included. Most of my relatives are nasa probinsya. Yes. And then you know, probinsya people tend to shy away from the things that they don't understand. But I had this assumption nga na parang, oh my god, kinakahiya ata ako ng mga, friend, ng mga relatives. Oh my, oh my god, ang ginagawa ko sa TikTok. But what made you go through with it? You were thinking all these things and yet you went through with it. Because that's what I love. I mean, I, 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 I love writing things. I love acting. I, I love, I love, you know, showing what I can do to people. Of course, potentially make people smile or laugh. Right. Sabi ko, well, that's that's a bigger, you know, that's a bigger thing para para isipin ko pa yung isipin ng relatives ko. But then they started to see me sa TV. Yeah. And then uh, and then my videos went viral online yeah. and then my 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 kabarangay would 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 watch those videos and then, oh my god, kapit bahay na rin daw. Silingan, silingan so represent. Ko. Okay, okay. So I I started, you know, to, to to gain that confidence na parang na nawala na sa akin yung 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 second thoughts na ay parang nakayagawin to. How much of your content is based from where you came from? Not much. Not much. Because most of my content is heavily influenced by, you know, Western... Um, Let's talk about that. What are your influences? Um, my, I learned British accent because I was really, uh, I was really, really into The Lord of the Rings. That's uh, back in high school. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh-huh. So, so, so my Marites character, that voice and that, yung asta. Yeah. It's, it's Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Ah, very prim and proper. Yeah. Uh. It's Kate Blanchett. And then, um... And then for 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 Ian Murray McKellen. Yeah, oh yeah, he's more on the old school, a bit more energetic. Yeah. But yeah, good balances between these characters. They're never like the the Liverpoolian, no. you know, that rough and tumble 
kind of that's good i've always been fascinated with the rp english <laughs> you've obviously trained your muscles in your mouth because you've done this for a long time before you came out with the actual videos you did this these to entertain yourself I'm, yes yes yeah. i would talk to myself i do this in front of my classmates you know talking to my you. to my classmates sabi nila alam mo dati parang ang oh, weird lang. Ang uh, murag weird yung yung kaya atong high school ta jazz. Kaya murag uh, sila ka ginana. Tapos yeah. kami, kaya murag okay lang. Sige, kaya murag trip pa na ni mo. Sige yeah. lang. Pero karon kaya murag nanadjud ang imo ko. Ano yung ningning ko? Anadjud siya. Kanang tawag ini. Napansin na jud ka. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See? So, i- there were small glimpses of the future in your past. And mm-hmm. then, so, you went, you, went to, when you went to Manila you, you, with your family. Mm-hmm. Your whole family yeah, yeah. went here. What did you do here? I lived with my tita and then uh, for, for some time. And then, nag, nag-service kuro ako sa Chow King. Wow! Uh-huh. Of course, as a newcomer, right. meron ka pa talagang certain punto or parang accent na parang akala ng manager ko dati yung mga katrabaho ko na galit ba to? Ah, Wait ah. lang. So, so parang sabi, sabi nila Justin yung accent mo parang, parang palagi kang galit. Well that's just me being desire. But then after maybe a month or two I mean Parang nawala din naman siya. That's one of your gifts. That's why you can adapt all these accents mm. quickly. You're very fast. And I know because there's so much, par- like I mentioned, parallelisms between our lives. Um, as you know, I used I do accents as well. But I'd like you to entertain ourselves. And mm. it's not really, are you an extroverted person? Because I'm sensing that you like to be with yourself a lot, with your own thoughts. Yeah. Um, selective, mm. I, I think. Mahiyain ako tapos... Uh, Here's an example. Let's say, for example, if we're if we're not really close friends, we're just acquaintances, or we just knew each other at one point of our lives. Tapos may kita kita sa mall. Uh-uh. Magpapanggap ako hindi kita nakita. Yes! <laughs> Kasi ayoko ng small talk. Yes! Yeah, Kasi yung, ah, talaga, kumusta? <laughs> it's so Tapos, awkward. Ano, ano yung tatanong ko after? Exactly! It's so awkward na talaga. Uh-huh. So what do you do with your close friends talaga? What, do you pref- what preferred activity do you do in your off time with your close circle? Kwentuhan talaga. Kwentuhan. kwentuhan. talaga. Kaya kung bumang, willing talaga akong bumangka ng kwentuhan pag, pag, if, I, if I'm with my friends. To make them laugh, basically. Yeah, You're yeah. being like the entertainer of the room. You know, hopefully one day you'll include me in that circle and see you <laughs> yeah. talaga. Because I know you and Inka are tight. Yeah. Diba? You went to college. You were a very smart kid. You finished with something. Yeah. Kung, yeah, I know. Like exactly. No, you gotta be proud of that. <laughs> you know, it's something that, you know, life takes you in a different direction. Mm-hmm. You finish a different kind of course. But the cum laude is not because, you know, it's only it's because you have the brains. That's it. I'm saying, you know, you didn't pursue what you finished. Yeah. Um, so the story is like this. I was three years out of school because I was working here. And then when I finally convinced my parents na, oh, I'm aral na ako kasi three years na ako out of school. So pinahanap nila ako ng, ng college around Laguna. Right. Sabi ko, ayoko, gusto ko umuwi ng late. Right. So I, I, I went back 2013, tapos I took up agribusiness. Agribusiness? Yeah, agri- what, even, what even is agribusiness? Agribusiness is like Nestle, uh, Bounty Agro. It's, it's farm to table. What did you learn from that? That you now apply in your current life? That, that, that I can ace anything if you just be confident. There you go. Kasi there you most go. of the time, wala na akong maalala. Parang, parang confident ka lang. Pag may tanungan, pag magde-defend ka ng thesis, basta confident ka lang. Exactly. May tatawid mo yan. Basically, it built your character. Yeah. You might not have used the actual details of the agribusiness and you know, curriculum. That's uh, tamang-tama yan. It's just built a character. Exactly. Ganun. And the character that's just the foundation of all your multiple mm-hmm. characters. So, after you finished school, you went to work uh, yeah. from the various ages. But this is something that we were common the call center industry, the BPO industry. Yeah, yeah. I How... started sa BPO 2017 and then one from, from one company to another and then I became a trainer. Wow. I love that job. Diba? I, mean, I know. Trey, why did you love that job? What I really love about my job is that I can spend time with my trainees and these are all grown yeah, up diba? people. Diba? And they're acting like they're in elementary or diba? high school. So, parang maglalaro kayo ng Marco Polo, maglalaro kayo ng Pinoy Henyo, na parang, ha, talaga ba? Like, like Francis, you're 32. Yeah. <laughs> now, Justin is not the only one who's become viral using his voice talents and the push of millions of people. One special young boy from another province recently took the country by storm on TikTok by sharing what he loves most. MTRCB ads. With close to 8 million views and counting, say hello to little Lucas. Hey, welcome, Sir Lodjeg Lucas! And dito tayo sa biz ng showbiz. 
MTRCB. Tara, pasok tayo. Papakita ko kayo dito. Ako po si Arlene Tude. Ito yung husband ko. Si Lou James Tude. Ito po ang baby namin na si Lucas Abner Tude po. Nandito po kami ngayon kasi po ito po yung batang nag-viral sa panggagaya sa MTRCB commercial. Uh, alam niya po yung English tsaka yung Tagalog ng MTRCB. Alright, mice. Now you all know Lucas. This is Abigail. She's the one responsible for Lucas's fame, online fame. Paano mo naisipang i-upload ang ginawa ni Lucas? So ang nangyari po, binibideo ko lang siya kasi marami siyang sinasabi. Tapos nabigla ako nagsabi siya nung uh, Amu Gamidu, ganun. Uh -huh. Tapos ang lakas po nung pakasabi niya, uh, trinay ko po siyang i-upload sa TikTok. Uh, kinaumagahan, dun po nag-viral. Nakakabigay saya talaga. Napapanood ba ni Lucas sarili niya? Actually, ini-skip niya po. Ayaw niya makita yung sarili niya. <laughs> Kaya sobrang salamat na nandito kayo. Mama Abigail, meron tayong gustong mamit talaga si Lucas dahil sobrang nag-enjoy din talaga siya sa video ni Lucas talaga. Let's bring her in. There she is! MTRCB Chair Lala Soto. Ayan. Hello, Lucas! Hi, Lucas! Wow! Hi, Mommy! Sobrang friendly ni Lucas. Hi, Daddy! Friendly na friendly. Hello, Lucas! Sasama ka na? Maraming salamat po sa inyo at nakilala po namin kayo. At ang inyong napaka-cute, napaka-talino na baby na si Lucas, isa lang po ba ang anak ninyo? Say Lucas, ito. Kailangan mo kasi para pagkamukha wow. na tayo. Wow! O yan, awangamot na lang to. Tingnan mo si Daddy. Ano, di ba? At saka from MTRCB Reclassified. Merry Christmas! Thank you very much. Kaya-kaya ni Lucas. Sobrang kaya-kaya. At dahil mahilig si Lucas manood ng mga programa talaga. Meron tayong bagong bagay na ipapanood wow. niya ng programa. Yes, sobrang happy. Yan, dyan happy si Lucas talaga. Ano sabihin mo? Ano no? Thank you. You're welcome, Lucas. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. God bless you. When my video started going viral, yeah. I was still training few people. So they were, they were already seeing you. Eto na nga. I have Vis Bisaya tra uh, trainees. Ah, yeah. So, pag Bisaya Mas kami doon. And, 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 and then, then may character man ng Yoli, I got it from them. Ah. Kasi that's how we would talk inside the training room. Ah. Sabi nila, ano, create tayo ng character, ganyan, ganyan. So, parang pag, pag downtime namin sa training, wala kami ibang pinag-uusapan, kundi content ko. Ah. So, parang pag bagot na sila, pag-uusapan namin yung mga TikTok ko. So, parang na-energize naman sila. Sabi ko, this is so fun. Yeah, but this is also like a brainstorm team because when they point out things that you didn't even notice, That's a good point. Training is like the 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 pinaka masayang part ng buhay mas sa call center. It is sobra. It's like you're the coolest guy in the room if you're the trainer. Yes. From one trainer to another. Nowadays, because everyone's connected na nalo talaga and everyone's so aware. When people rise nowadays, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. And you know, you are one of those people. How fast was it, and what was that like for Le you? Less than a year, actually. Oh, it's really. Fast. I I my, my videos went viral ng December 2020. I started doing multiple projects ng March 2021. Wow! Wow! Sabi ko, ha, talaga ba? So sabi ko, okay, magra-resign na talaga ako sa work. Yeah, that's why I was too busy na uh -huh. talaga. So, um, did anything else change apart from your schedule being busy? What else did you change? The changes that you liked and the changes that you didn't like? The change that I like is I, I, I live comfortably now. I think that's that's more comfortably rather mm. it's really a very good feeling na parang you get to do what you love mm. and then somehow support your 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 you support you financially and it's 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 it, that's that's i think the best one of the best things that happened to me the things that i didn't like um hindi naman siya super didn't like it's just that you know more and more people recognize you in public yeah Um, hindi naman sa nag, nagmamasongit ako, no? Pero, some, as an introverted person, although I really appreciate it if, if people come up to me and say, hey, we watch your videos, and, and, and that's really fulfilling. Pero yun kasing ano, yung parang, 
pagkilala ka na yung parang ah si Justin to what, nauunahan na yung ano mo yung yung I did I I, I can't introduce myself as Justin na para kasi para kasi characters na ko na lang ang nakikita exactly Ganun. so instead of like being who you are they see you as either the Marites where they saw you yeah. or the other characters that you portray and then so for then you cannot be authentic anymore yeah. and that makes the whole situation awkward for you yeah and and, and and there's this paranoia na parang pag pag na, pag na meet nila ako na parang it it may come to them as a shock na ganto pala si Justin sa totoong buhay yeah. <laughs> so are they gonna, accent. are they gonna like me in oh. real life are they, am I gonna lose their support? So there's mm-hmm. all that anxiety that's there. That they demystify, kung baga. Ay, ganito pala si Justin. Hindi pala siya super social. Hindi pala siya, uh, hindi pala siya super British or whatnot. So do you take this as things that, uh, negative things that you have characters because you have to put on a character to be in to be known to people or is this an advantage to you? What do you feel about this? It, it, it's, it's a bit of both actually because if I play as a character in front of a camera, I can forget being Justin and just... Mm push for the character na parang well, hindi niyo talaga makikita si Justin. That's right. The things that you want to do but Justin just can't do. Aha. Uh-huh. I get it. There are a lot of things that I that I that, that I can't do but my characters can. Yeah, because uh-huh. it's a character. Uh-huh. That's the excuse. The other side of uh-huh. it, ang naging disadvantage kasi um yun na lang yun, yun nga, yun yung nakikita nila sa iyo. W- w- wala nang ikaw. Do you really want to see them who you are though? As who you yes, are. I've been trying to, you know, to to push for uh, to, to to post stuff that's me online. How's that working out? It's it's not doing well. I know <laughs> that feeling. It's not doing well because they, they only want to see Justin accent, but if but but if it's me, like you know, um, uh, like like get ready with me or like or, or like I'm doing these travels and like like posting cute stuff. It's not doing well. No, so but, ko, uh, you know what? What? Ah, tanggapin ko na. Yun na lang talaga ako. Hindi na ako mag, uh, ano, magmamala. Ano. No. This is the thing. If, if there's anything that I've learned, because I've been in long talaga, if ano talaga, is they will like you. Just keep at it. You know this. Mm-hmm. Because the reason why you think that they're not working is because the other numbers are so big in mm-hmm. comparison lang naman eh. Um, you do your thing and I've been seeing those things. I really like them. They just need time to build. Because those are the kinds of things that I know you want to have in the long run anyway. Mm. So the things that you do want in the long run will take a lot longer. But going back to your characters though, because I really want to explore the complexities of each and every one of your characters. Because I know they're coming from a place in your brain. Mm -hmm. It's like a subconscious thing. And I'm just trying to see if I can come up. So the Marites, the most famous of your characters. um, What what, what's We all know what a Marites is. Mm. But what was the inspiration for you to finally get it out there? Well, it's not really part of my my, my my grander plan na magiging chismosa yung Marites ko na character. Right. It's just that, Interesting. Th- 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 I, I told you earlier na this voice has been in my head since 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 high school. I've been I've been channeling like, yeah. siguro, uh, you know, Kate Blanchett, yeah. the, 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 the cadence, yeah. the, the, the accent, the intonation, ganyan, ganyan. Nag, nag-materialize siya as Marites because that time, Bridgerton was really hot. So because of training ko, bang, wala na akong mahanap na content. Kasi, uh-huh. <laughs> kasi that's like two weeks in from when I started going viral. Right. Sabi ko, umus na agad content ko, wala na akong maisip. Uh-huh. Sabi niya, ay nako Justin, huwag mo akong dinadamay sa mga problema mo. Kasi yung, 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 yung mama ko, inaaway ng kapitbahay namin chismosa. Sabi ko, okay, let's do that. Mar- uh-huh. Tapos, when I started writing the, the, the chisme, sabi ko, anong name ng character na to? Saka anong isusuot ko? Kasi hindi naman ako nagpo-props dati right. sa TikTok ko eh. Sabi ko, anong isusuot ko dito? <laughs> Tapos, online on sabi ko, ah, Marites. Kasi the, the middle-aged Filipina, hmm. pag chismosa, Marites. Okay, sige, let's, 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 let's go with Marites. Tapos, I remember I just had this cardigan. Yung pink ko na cardigan yeah. until now gamit-gamit ko pa din. It's really a cardigan that, I'm suppo- that I was wearing outside. Pang-alis talaga yon ah. Hindi talaga yun pang panligo or whatnot. Oh, so it just happened to be on the uh-huh. time. Tapos, sabi ko, ah, okay, sa TikTok naman kasi hindi naman kailangan ng wig. Uh. Kailangan mo lang ng t-shirt or towel. So, I was in the hotel back then. Uh. So sabi ko, ay, itong towel na to, gagawin kong ganyan-ganyan. Parang wow. gaganon ko na. As siguro, it could pass as hair or, or I don't know. Tapos, video. It went to sleep, mga siguro few thousands lang na views, and then woke up the next morning with like 1.5 million views. Oh. 
Sabi ko, oh my God, this is, this is, this is great. Sabi ko, sige, sundan natin. Now, this is something a bit more serious that I have a meaning to ask because I face the same question every day myself being uh, someone who does accents. Well, um, are you not, is it in your head? Of course, obviously, it causes anxiety, but is it always, how, how big of a part is it in your head wherein the things, the content that you do with these accents will not be culturally misappropriated in their perception? Ah, of course, worried ako doon. Andiyan niya siya, pag, pag ginagawa ko siya, uh, uh, okay, so, so at one point, I was only doing an Indian accent all throughout the video. Mm. I think the scenario is, uh, what if Mamang Chuper or a Jeepney Driver is an Indian? Yeah. And I was just doing that accent all throughout the video. So I, I, have, I had few people call me out na parang racist daw, ganyan, ganyan. Right. So I've learned from it, although there are huge Indian content creators who would say na, yeah, you, you, got, you got the accent, it's not really that bad either, ganyan. But although I've learned from that, so if I ever, um, tuwing, tuwing Indian accent lang naman or any minor, minor groups ang pag, pag ginagaya ko, doon lang naman nagkakaroon ng call out eh. Yes. So if I, if I do those accents, right. it has to be alongside with the many accents that I do because it would just appear as Justin showing the many accent. It, it, it shouldn't be called as, you know, Justin making fun of this certain accent. And I understand and I completely understand that you're not really trying to offend anyone. Mm-hmm. But there will be those people who will misunderstand as always. There mm-hmm. will always be that certain percentage that you can't even explain things to. The haters. Mm-hmm. I just want to know how, so this life now that you lead, how, well, the haters are a bit more vocal and visible mm-hmm. as opposed to previous lives where they just stay hidden among your office mates. True. Diba? So now it's a lot more ano talaga, and they, they can have, even have a following the shade on shade the... office mates. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying like, how do you deal with that now? I'm so lucky that I only have very minimal haters and it's not even hate comments. Mm. It's it's more like it's not even that good or or parang ang cringy naman mm. That's that's the that's the worst, that's I, the that, worst that, that I got. Nice. So it's not really, you know, um yung 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 minumura ka or parang yung uh, bad words. What right. what ganon. One part of that, a huge part of that rather is I, I put out comedy content. Exactly. And it's, and it's making people laugh because why would you hate something that's making you laugh? So you're, you're hating <laughs> on somebody who's trying to make people laugh. That's, mm. that, diba? So it's not really something that's, that's worth hating on. And anyone who hates that is probably just having a bad day. And the reason I mention it is you're just going beyond comedy now. You're doing so many more things. You're, yeah. um, or your Instagram is completely different from what you show on your TikTok. Um, so what are you doing now? What are the projects, multiple projects that Justin Nuzaris is doing? Um, I'm so happy that towards, you know, the, the, the second half of 2022 was more on mainstream projects. Mm. Although, although I did it Bulaga for like almost half a year. Mm. How was that like? It was so fun ah. because I get to be a character there. Yeah. I mean, the in-house Marites. So yeah. they, they come to me for, for, for chismes or chica. And then working with, with, of course, people that you only watch before, katrabaho mo na. And right. it, was, it was so, it was surreal. And then a few projects came in as well. Um, uh, a reality show in Thailand that's going to be out next year. Nice. Way. And then the recent, th- recent, very recent series that I'm doing is with, with Dreamscape. Oh, mm. tell us about that. So it's, it's, it's a se- series. Uh, it's going to be um, out on Amazon Prime. Wow, you're already on Amazon? Uh, yeah, this is my second Amazon Prime project. Da! And then um, get to work with stars, you know, na pinapanood mo lang dati. Na right. Parang, oh my God, katrabaho ko si Kim Chiu. Wait. Right. <laughs> 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 parang, oh, kasama mo siya sa dressing room, tapos nag-joke-joke kayo, or parang, you know, people that you watch on TV, that's, that's the, the biggest stars of, of, of your generation. Yung parang, ha, talaga ba? Katrabaho ko sila, tapos, I'm like, I'm like, uh, w- well, no spoilers, pero kontrabida ako doon. Oh my goodness. Uh, I still have my British accent on there. Sarap. Oh, oh. Tapos, ano lang ako doon. Uh, it's, it's basically my Marites character without the towel and the robe. So, going through what you've gone through now, coming from where you came from, where you are right now in your life, thinking of the message, because the reason why we have shows like these is to show people um, the experiences of the people who the audiences are watching right now. You are one of them. You are very influential to the youth now. Um, in terms of when you create your content, you're thinking, I might have value that I can add to the world 
by making this type of content. How much of that kind of thinking goes into your content creating process? Okay, I'm going to be very honest. Very little. Mm. Whenever my my majority of my audience are are, are mommies, are titas. I, I don't know what's what's the deal with that, but all titas. I know the people who comment on you, sila, sila the great titas too, not just yeah, you know, yeah. Ah, any titas, the great titas. Yeah, so I'm like, ha, tita talaga. So when whenever I meet people outside, and then they see they they would come up to me and say. Uy, Justin, pinapanood ka ng anak ko. Nag-accent-accent na din siya. Sabi ko, Mami, <laughs> chismis po ang content ko. Wait lang. Bakit ganun? Pero, pero it's not really the chismis. Right. It's the... It's the it's the fascination of the accent. Parang right, right, right. They, they, they're so fascinated at one point. Um, even my friends and my... The moms of my friends would would tell me na ano... Um, most of the time, hindi naman, hindi naman namin naiintindihan yung sinasabi mo. Pinapanood ka namin kasi naka-amaze lang kami sa accent mo. Yung parang nakagano lang sila, nakanganga lang sila. Ah, uh, good, good. So sabi ko, okay. So, so if, if majority of my viewers are like that, okay, then it's okay that if I can, you know, just create something na parang hindi naman talaga about language. Parang gusto lang nila ma-appreciate yung accent. And I like it because what you put out is raw. Eh, because it's something that you know, you believe if you either you believe in God or not, it was something that was put inside you. Mm. That was inside your brain that formulated that had all your experience come together to make sure you come out with that kind of content into the world. Um, and it's beautiful. I like that. That's how an art, Thank art, you. art piece is supposed that. to be, really. Um, knowing all the experiences you have and uh, your person who's Ano naman, family values is intact because you have an amazing family who supported you all the way. What is your message to the youth of tomorrow, to the youth of today who are watching content creators such as ourselves out there? Regardless of what content they're watching, what is your message to them? As a content creator muna. As a content creator, if you're, if you're watching us, uh, please remember that we are also people behind the camera. Um, we are not you know, well, to some maybe it, we, they can see us. They're, as, yeah, as, that's as, themselves. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's right. Oh, but we are also people behind the cameras, and we, we are real, and we feel the same way as you do. And um, about how you consume the content, always, you know, take it with a grain of salt, because it, especially if for us we're not doing educational content. <laughs> I mean, take it with a grain of salt, and then and then um, if if you got something from it. Then maybe decide kung paano mo siya gagamitin sa buhay mo. Kasi, kasi labas na kami doon. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't even want to call myself as an influencer because that's not the brand that, that I have. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to think that I still have a, a little, a little influence on people, and I want to influence them to 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 express themselves, no, no matter how weird it is. No matter how 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 niche that content would be, if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna show that to the world, then then show it to the world. Justin Luzares is proof that if you stay true to yourself, great things will happen. Because the real key to success in this industry isn't about counting the people you reach, but rather reaching the people who count. Most especially the people whose opinion matters most, the ones closest to you and yourself. I am. Google the Explorer. And this has been MTICB Reclassified. Hey, g'day mates. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you might enjoy the other episodes. So please do follow the MTICB on all the social media to get updated. And if you want to listen to the full uncut episodes, do follow us on Spotify.